take a second to consider what went through your mind. How did that feel? How do we experience emotions? Actually, emotions can be conceptualized as two-dimensional. Firstly, emotions range from unpleasant or aversive to nice. If you think about it, they tend not to be neutral. Also, they differ in the degree of arousal that goes with them, from calm to excited. Say hello to core effect space. This is where we can map out the different emotions. Say we have two different emotions, happy and content. They're both nice to the right of the scale, but with different levels of excitement or arousal. So you can imagine most any adjective describing an emotion to have a place in this matrix. The four I mentioned would probably be found one in each quadrant. Whenever I teach about core effect space to pet owners or animal professionals, I usually do an exercise. What does your animal look like when it's experiencing emotions in these different quadrants? Which types of behaviors would you see? How do you know what mood they're in? The degree of arousal is usually obvious where the animal is on the y-axis, up and down. It's more difficult to or what I find that most people have difficulties with is, is placing their animal on the x-axis. Is the animal happy, excited, or unhappy, excited? Is it calm and content, or is it uh, sad and depressed? Sometimes these, this can be really hard to distinguish, but it's important, and I'll tell you why. Welfare increases as we move to the right in the matrix. In aroused animals, we get a stress reaction. We find distress to the left and eustress to the right. On the other side of the spectrum, depression to the left and contentment to the right. And we want to go green, shift animals through core effect space to the right. Now this doesn't mean that animals or people should never, ever, ever, ever spend any time to the left in the core effect matrix. No, that's life. You stub your toe, you miss the bus, your bunny dies or worse. And we need to, to live with the bad things that, that happen in life. And incidentally, that is what animals in control is all about, is giving them the opportunity of coping when bad things happen to them. And it's really when we start seeing animals spending a lot of time to the left in core effect matrix that we see problems arising and welfare being affected. So let's take a few moments to look at one of these locations in core effect space. A location in core effect space lets us know how unpleasant the experience is and how aroused or excited the animal is. But two different emotions can inhabit the same slot. This model is limited in that the, the flavors of the emotion are lost. An animal may be in one position and be frustrated and aggressive and ready to attack. Or it could be anxious and frightened and ready to flee. These are entirely different core emotions. They have different flavors. So core emotions have these distinct flavors and they're governed by completely distinct brain chemistries. And they also lead to very different behaviors. So how many of these core emotions have been identified? Seven. These core emotions are usually not mentioned in the context of the core effect space model of emotions. And I'm not sure that Jak Panksepp would agree with me on their placement on the y-axis. Personally, I like combining these two models because I want to focus on the welfare angle and that gets really obvious in core effect space. Panksepp's core emotions are written in caps like this. On the right, introducing, seeking, lust and play in the top quadrant, care, in the bottom. Meet fear and rage, top left. Grief, 
in the bottom. Or maybe in the top. The seven core emotions discovered and described by Jörg Panksepp. Different flavors, different brain chemistries, different behaviors. You, as a pet owner or animal professional, want to ensure that your animal spends most of the time in the green, as it were. So join me for the free live webinar when I introduce Panksepp's seven core emotions. What you'll learn is which are the behaviors and neurotransmitters associated with the emotions? What triggers the emotions? And what are my reflections on how we can impact animals' welfare by addressing their emotions? If you miss it, you can watch the replay, but you have to sign up to get access to it. I hope to see you there. Until next time, take care. But let's take a closer look at one of these locations in core effect space and, and take a closer look. <laughs>